Hey everybody, this is Alessandro Camporota and welcome to another tutorial. In this one I'm gonna show you how you can improve your hand pose and make sure the, you know, the pose itself is very strong and at the same time it looks kinda natural and you're kinda losing that uh, feeling of a CG fake hand pose. And as usual guys, if you like the content, give it a like and press the subscribe button, okay? Before we're gonna start guys, I wanna just give you a few tips, a few general rules that you wanna keep in mind when you're posing your hand. Um, first of all, uh, something I notice quite often, um, people tend to forget about this line on the knuckles, okay? What they, they do usually is keep it kind of straight, which is not very appealing and very natural. So always make sure you kind of have like an angle on the knuckles, okay? Definitely give like a, a better line of action and it feels like more natural because actually our hands don't stay straight like this, okay? And another thing you wanna keep in mind, always to group most of the time the finger, okay? And kinda cover the gap that you have here uh, in the middle. So all this little gap that you see here and here, uh, you always gonna wanna remove it most of the time, except few, few occasion. But let's start now with the pose itself. So as you can see here, it's kinda pretty bland uh, fist pose that we have as a default. So now I'm gonna show you how you guys can improve it. So as I mentioned before, First of all, we're gonna cover about the line of action on the knuckles here. Okay, so I'm gonna drop this down. Maybe having this one up here a little bit. And I'm gonna group those finger uh, a little bit more. Okay. And I always try to find the right balance. Um, and also we're gonna bend here in a diagonal way Another thing you want to keep in mind is like don't keep all those lines kind of straight and parallel. You can push this one a little bit higher like this. Okay, this and this one. Okay. So as you can see already, uh, it feels so much better compared to the previous one. You can cheat as well if you need. Um, once in a while if you don't want to have any penetration. You see, I don't even mind scaling a little bit the, this finger here if it needs, if it helps to the purpose. You can kind of close a little bit the gap here, okay? Now I wanna just try to close the little negative space around here, okay? I'm really careful about those things. Okay guys, so as you can see here, we have like a much better line of action compared to the first one where here, the line was kinda straight, but actually here we're having this arc, and as you can see how it's nice, the silhouette of the, of the finger kinda con converging towards the center, okay? So I think definitely this is much stronger as a pose compared to the previous one. Even if we take a look from the side here, the line was much straight. You see here you feel a lot of energy and more impact. The next one we're gonna cover is a typical um, hand pose for like an idol. And the common mistake that I usually see is like, again, they kinda have like this negative space um, between the finger, which makes the pose look very unnatural because normally you wouldn't see that. And also maybe they don't group and bend as well as much the, the finger as they should be. So let me give you an example of, of what I mean exactly. So as usual, we're gonna 
having a better line of action here on the top of the of the hand as we as we did before make sure we close the finger together a bit more and this time we're gonna uh, bend them inside a little bit more group them a little bit more uh, it's up to you how much you want to do it um, but in general I I try to do it quite a lot and at the same time keep grouping the finger here so immediately as you can see as long as you put them uh, together you remove the negative space actually it looks already so much better I mean, this looks like something really simple to do, and actually it is, but, you know, the difference is really tremendous because you want to keep in mind that it's, it doesn't look very natural when there is like this, uh, this gap between the finger. I mean, normally people wouldn't do that, um, so it's kind of important to get, get rid of that. And at the same time here, you can kind of, you know, instead of keeping them like this, because people tend to think, oh, you know, if you're kind of relaxed, the thumb is going to be kind of bent inside a little bit. But I actually want to have the thumb kind of resting a little bit on the finger, so maybe you can actually go in the opposite direction a little bit, okay? And maybe try to get rid of that, you see? Okay. Maybe here we can exaggerate a bit more. So as you can see, this kind of pose, it looks much better than this previous one, that it doesn't look, uh, you know, relaxed and at all. Another thing that maybe you want to do, this is going to be up to you, is like how much actually you want to kind of uh, bend the, the, the finger inside, you know. You can actually decide to exaggerate a bit more, almost like a fist. Uh, it's up to you, I guess, at this stage. Uh, but at least, you know, this solution is much more appealing than the... Um, then, then the first one over here, that you know, that looks kind of, kind of awkward as a hand position. The third pose I'm gonna do is actually um, a tricky one for many animators. So it's when actually you're holding an object with your hand, okay? And sometimes it's like kind of difficult because what people do um, is kind of like to to put this object right in the hands like this, okay? And then kind of, uh, you know, parent him, uh, actually let me parent this one to this one. You know, and then kind of uh, moving it together, okay? When they, they want to hold it down, it looks very ugly. So today I'm going to show you how can you pose your hand properly if you're holding like a stick or a sword or something like that, okay? So first of all, we're going to rotate slightly a little bit the, the hand, okay? Uh, you don't have to hold it exactly like this and hold it like, perpendicular uh, so just about a little bit and the first finger actually doesn't it's not bending too much um, and actually the other one are kind of holding you know We can hold down this one a little bit more. And as usual, again, even for this kind of pose, we're gonna wanna uh, group together the finger.
I'll show this is a little attach. And other things you want to do it as well when you do this one, again, kind of similar with the resting position. Okay, um, I like actually to maybe like this having a bit of a reverse. Okay, not too much. Let's try to adjust the hand position. Okay, see like how they're kind of holding it nicely together and you know. And this one if you want to have something a little bit more stylish, um, you know, you can kind of hold it like this. Always remember guys when you when you pose like a hand or something or a general rule when you pose like if you have to translate a joint you know or skate or something you know just do it don't be afraid uh, you know do whatever you need in order to achieve the the pose that you need okay no matter what that's usually my uh, philosophy as long as it's not visible that you're cheating you know uh, I think it's uh, it's still okay so this is what I usually do when I wanna hold like a, an object like a spear or like a sword or something. is is not perfect yet, but still I think like for the the purpose of tutorial is good enough. And so yeah, that's what you wanna kind of keep in mind that you know the 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 line between uh, the you know the arms, which is this one, and uh, and the sword is kind of you know there is this kind of angle between both. Um, you know, mistake that I see often is like. If the people want to have like uh, the the pose going that way, they rotate the arm like this, okay, and then it's the stick kind of uh, parallel, and you know, and they have this kind of broken angle here on the on the wrist, which is kind of not very appealing. So of course this is like you know much better and much more natural, I would say as a as a pose.